Now this is really strange. Have you ever seen a spring with weights dropped in slow motion? Check this out. The bottom of the spring doesn't move. It appears to defy gravity. The bottom of a spring remains in place and doesn't fall until the top of the spring reaches it. What's going on here? Check out the slinky. It's the same thing. That's impossible. Everything is supposed to fall at the same rate. Is this breaking Newton's laws? Better not be. Nope, it's not. We really should not say all objects with the same air resistance fall at the same rate. What is better and closer to reality is to say all centers of mass of objects with the same air resistance fall at the same rate. It is the center of mass of an object that is accelerating toward the ground. Paying attention to the center of mass in a free-falling object is especially important when dropping a slinky. The center of mass of an unstretched slinky is indicated by the black dot. When an unstretched slinky is dropped, it is very easy to see the bottom of the slinky falling immediately from the initial drop as this slow motion video illustrates. Like all objects, the center of mass of an unstretched slinky accelerates as it falls toward the ground as indicated by the accelerating black dot in the video. Now, how about the dropped stretched slinky? This is where the center of mass is for a hanging stretched slinky. When this slinky is dropped, notice that as the center of mass accelerates toward the ground, only the top springs decompress. The bottom springs remain unchanged. The center of mass falls due to gravity until it reaches the bottom of the slinky, and then the entire slinky falls just as any uncompressed slinky falls.